Hey folks, Chad here with Raymond Communications, ExploreNet dealer. I'm um, just going to do a couple videos here and post them on our page just to help explain to people so you can kind of get an understanding of where ExploreNet is right now and what's happening with our internet for Fort St. John, Charlie Lake, Montney, Rose Prairie, all those areas for local around here. Um, so this first video I'm going to do is just, just quickly explain the tiered system um, the new system that Explornet had to go to and why they had to go to it. Um, and then also, then we'll, uh, I'll do another video on the satellite and then I'll do like satellite internet and then I'll do another one on the fixed wireless or tower internet. So if you're on the tower, you don't have to watch the satellite one or vice versa. So, but this one here does apply to both. So that's why I'm doing this one first. Um, what's happened with Explornet? When Explornet first launched their the satellites that we for satellite system, when that was first launched, um, now it was launched actually before the internet. The internet has evolved and and become something now that when the satellite was launched, it honestly it, the internet wasn't what it is now, and it wasn't projected to be what it is now. Um, it, it's so much. It, 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 it does so much more now than it was ever thought that it would do when, when this stuff first happened. So what the engineers have actually had to do a lot um, with not just ExploreNet, but everybody, um, but ExploreNet especially, that's who we're concerned with. So the engineers really had to go back in and, and make a lot of changes and do some things to just make the internet even work because when this satellite system, and I know this doesn't strictly apply to fixed wireless but um for the satellite when this was launched there was no such thing as 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 netflix um youtube was a very small thing it wasn't anywhere near what it is nowadays facebook had hardly any pictures on it never mind videos and ads and all of that stuff and so um just after this satellite was launched the internet seemed to just explode and evolve and so they've had to just constantly re-engineer and make things so that they will work and that it'll keep up and um but constantly also looking forward towards upgrades towards the future so that people are are getting the internet that they're paying for and it's working and doing doing the best that it can possibly do so one of the things that explorenet has introduced is called the tiered system um where they've had to prioritize the internet so depending on the type of traffic and the time of day the tiered system is not on all the time that's why sometimes actually I noticed because we're on exploring here um, and I should say as well this is being done February the 8th 2017 so if you're seeing this in the year 3030 this doesn't apply to you <laughs> but uh, we're on this as well and I notice in the morning I can get up in the morning and start downloading like podcasts or doing things like that videos and it'll just boom sh stream in come in everything will work no problem and, and, it, and it goes if i wait when the tiered system applies is when there's a lot of traffic data and a lot of customers come on and everybody all the kids come home from school or people are online once the bandwidth usage because we're all on a community bandwidth or a group bandwidth so we all affect each other it's not none of us have a dedicated line straight out ourselves we all kind of come into think of it like a, almost a water line we're all feeding off this one water line so whatever that can handle is what it can handle um i know that people people want unlimited internet they want unlimited speeds they want everything and somehow we think that it's almost like it's it's a <laughs> It's my right. I should be able to in this day and age. Well, there is still limits to this. And there is still technology that has to catch up to what the Internet is now. And there's limits to... I'm amazed myself with satellite. And, and I shouldn't... I don't want to make these videos too long. But I'm amazed that somebody's smart enough to put that satellite 35,000 miles in space. And I can have a dish on the side of my house and talk to that thing and that I can even see a picture on that blows my mind but but uh, I do know as well you pay for it I pay for it we're all customers that pay for it we want what we pay for and so Explorenet has tried to really they really have tried to 
to do the best they could do and i know i know how frustrating it can be sometimes for sure um and and, and we're dealers for it and there's times that i'm like uh you know but um i have to kind of remind myself i live in the north it is what it is and it's coming it's gonna get better i promise you it's gonna get better it is coming um so anyways back to this the tiered system explorna introduced a tiered system so when congestion gets on so when there's a lot of people on and that pipe starts to fill up um the internet it automatically goes to what is called a tiered system so the top priority in that tiered system is called dns or domain name uh, system some of you might get this some of you don't if you don't i'm just going to try to explain it real simple as well but domain name and voip so voip is anybody that has a home phone voice over internet that is on the first priority because you want your home phones working so any customers that have home phone that's going to always work real well or ideally if everything is good that's going to work also the dns dns is kind of just think of it as the addressing kind of a thing so that it always knows the top priority is that you actually get to the website or that that your computer finds the website that it's trying to get to if the dns doesn't work nothing works because because none of the things that you try to do you, you might be saying well i want to watch bonanza on youtube if dns isn't working it ain't even going to get to bonanza on youtube and 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 nothing's going to work right so those things are the two number one priorities so when it goes to the tiered system and it goes into the priority thing those are number one so those are the most important things that go through the second thing is browsing so just browsing the internet google hey here's kijiji here's uh whatever energeticcity.ca whatever fsj now those pages yeah this is your second tiered thing so browsing and gaming now this is me why they put gaming in second tiered i have no idea because you're probably you might be a gamer so ignore what i'm saying now i'm not a gamer i'd much rather be able to watch videos and play than to to have the gaming working but you know there's a lot of people that are gamers and stuff so browsing and gaming and social networks those are the second tier so those things are on the second priority so when there's congestion those become priority number two so that you can actually browse and go to websites that facebook and things like that that the pages will open and this is where this is where you might notice this right here the third tier the third level is video streaming so things like YouTube and that is on the third level. Also encrypted data. Some of you guys that might be uh, oil patch work for oil patch where you have a dedicated line so that you have a computer and it has to connect um, directly into a computer in Calgary or something like that. And it's encrypted. So it's not just open normal data flowing over. It's encrypted so that it can't be seen or read by third parties or anybody that intercepts it or hacks it. That's on a third tier. So encrypted data travels on a third tier. I have some friends that are in the oil patch um, and and they they do that stuff. And, and since this tiered system has been introduced, they, I know they even, before I even re knew about the tiered system, uh, I had a friend of mine was coming to me and saying, "Hey, what? Wh why all of a sudden my my connection with these guys isn't working right?" And I I had no idea why. And then found out when this tiered system comes in, well, that's why because when everybody's on, that drops to a third priority. So if there's too many people on, that's going to move slow and not well. And this is where I was saying from tier two, Facebook social networking is in tier two, but video streaming is in tier three. So when everybody's on and the internet's moving slow, you might notice this. You go to Facebook and the page opens up. But the pictures take a little while longer, obviously, to open. But then eventually, you know, that it shouldn't take that long to open. But they'll open up. Once they open, and then you'll be scrolling down through. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Oh, the internet's working pretty good. Oh, here's a video. And you click the video. And all of a sudden, that video sits there and loads and loads and loads and you're not and you're, why is this doing this why how come this is happening why is it just spinning and spinning and spinning and it won't it's because that video is part of a third tier the other thing as well is facebook is not nearly as good as youtube is at at compressing and lowering um the data rates or the amount of data required to play their videos so if you upload a high def 
rip snorting video on Facebook, then that's kind of what everybody's getting when they're trying to when they're trying to download it. Whereas YouTube, if you open something to YouTube, YouTube changes the, the not the format so much, but they they do change the compression rates. They change they they alter the video so that it still plays and shows what you've uploaded, but it also is is a much more streaming friendly. Um, upload or format so that it, it will it will work better and that's why sometimes I know Facebook for Facebook videos if it's in the evening time myself I, I don't even try to click on them because I know they're not gonna they're, they're gonna sit there forever and not want to run but then I could go to YouTube and it might buffer for a little while and then go and depending on how many people are on it'll play stop and buffer stop and buffer play stop and buffer and you'll see and and I'll, you know what it drives me crazy just as much as it does you but unfortunately that's that's the tiered system that they've had to introduce because otherwise if they didn't have that everybody was trying to stream videos well then facebook wouldn't even open up or it and it would be so dependent on what everybody's doing whether you even had internet so this is a way to try to make it so that it at least it it, it will at least work and function and then the fourth tier is app downloading so when you're trying to download an app and it's taken forever or a program that's on the fourth tier file transferring so if you're trying to download or upload things back and forth box or box dropbox and different things like that google uh google drive those kinds of things takes it can take a while for those to go and also for you illegal people is peer-to-peer -peer. so the stuff when you're if you're connecting to another computer to download maybe a movie or something from somebody well if it's on the if it's if it's in a congested time and the tiered system has been applied and is, is running on the on it then the peer-to-peer -peer is going to be slow it's a fourth priority so that's uh, that's why it is what it is now i i want to say this real quick and again I'm, I'm trying not to make this video too long um i want to say this real quick if you can't so if you can't even stream if you can't even open up Facebook um, or you can't even open up just normal websites, something's wrong. Even when it's congested, when it's congested, videos won't play that well or they'll stream and they'll buffer and stream and buffer and stream and buffer. Um, that is going to change. The new system that's coming is going to change all of that. But if, if that, so that's kind of the, the situation for that is those will buffer and things. But just normal browsing should almost always work it you should be able to go to facebook or kijiji or all of those kinds of sites and do that kind of stuff that it that stuff should always be working so if you're not working if if you're sitting there watching this and you're going you know what mine doesn't do that mine's not even close to doing that something is wrong with your system whether your signal strength is wrong um it, 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 if you have a dish it could be moved a little bit there's there's all kinds of things that could be wrong with it and if it's not doing that something is wrong and you need to call ExploreNet. um i can't remember the one under number uh, I'll, I'll i'll put it down here in, in the link underneath but um you need to call ExploreNet tech support and get them get them to issue a service call and have somebody to come out and take a look at it because something's wrong okay so that's the tiered system so uh, I'm, I'll, I'll share this one um right here in the same grouping on our page there's going to be this one about the tiered system. I'm going to do another one now about the fixed wireless tower and explain to everybody what's going on with the tower, why the tower is what it is, and what's happening with that. And then I'll do another video on the satellite one. So I hope this hasn't been too long, and I hope it's I hope this has explained some things pretty good. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at the office here. And again. I have a terrible memory for the, for numbers, but I'll uh, I'll put the phone number down, and you'll see it's here on our Facebook page as well. Call the office. We'll do what we can do. Probably what you'll have to do is call ExploreNet, the tech support line, and that's the first step because for the most part we can't do much until ExploreNet looks at it first and, and issues a service call or doesn't issue a service call. We've had situations with some customers where once i talk to them and they explain it to me and i can say they should be issuing a service call there's sometimes that we can kind of come out and try to we can try to kind of influence it and push it a little a little bit we've been able to do it with some customers but for the most part they want you to call 
and to uh, find out the problem and and because it should your internet should be working and believe me I understand your frustration and I know exactly what how you feel and uh, it should be working it should be working as well as I've explained it here today I understand like videos things like that sometimes when it's congested those things aren't gonna work but normal browsing you should be able to do just about any time of the day or night that should always work and if it doesn't something's not right and, and it could be your router it could be it could be the system it could be the wires it could be the cables it could be trees have grown up where there wasn't trees before like there's a pile of different things and stuff so so folks please call ExploreNet give us a call we'll do what we can do um, and everything so but I hope this has explained it a little bit to you and kind of giving you a better understanding so you can might be able to look at yours now when you're sitting there you know watching TV and you got your phone you're trying to do something and you're like maybe maybe now that you've heard this video you can look and go yeah that's that's exactly what mine does so and if that's the case it just is what it is right now but the new system is coming so so if if you're a satellite customer click on the next link for satellite and watch the video and I'm gonna explain what's going on with the satellite system even if you're not a satellite customer and you're a fixed wireless customer I'm going to explain what's coming on the satellite and it's coming very soon so you may be interested in possibly switching from the fixed wireless and over to the satellite because at this time the satellite is going to be it's going to be way better than the fixed wireless one but there is there is a fixed wireless upgrade coming as well and I'll explain all of that so yeah so click on the on the link watch the fixed wireless one and then uh, watch the satellite one if that one applies to you as well so I hope this has helped you guys and uh, I hope you are having a good day.